Good morning, church family. Ron Branscombe here. I hope you're having a blessed morning. I get the pleasure of uh, covering uh, 1 Samuel chapter 10 this morning. And uh, we, we start off with uh, Samuel anointing Saul with oil and, and praying with him. And then also giving him instructions on for, Sam, for Saul to be on his way home as to certain individuals and certain situations he was going to run across and interact with. And these had to be assuring uh, and give Saul confidence because here he was going to be a new leader. And for these uh, particular uh, situations to occur just as Samuel had told him they would, had to be great assurance. Uh, and with that, uh, in verse 9, we get the picture where uh, God changed Saul's heart. Now, I think we get a, a great picture of Saul's transformation of a leader because at this point he started uh, prophesying and really understanding the importance of God and people. And, uh, you know, you see, you get, a you get a glimpse of him being changed. And you even have the people that had interacted with Saul prior to this time period even questioning, is this Saul? Uh, who is this guy? Uh, he has changed. And so we get a picture of a leader developing. And in verse 15, uh, his uncle, actually, by the time he had gotten home uh, to Gabeah, uh, his uncle had asked him about the lost donkeys. If you remember, he was going to search after the donkeys, and then that's when he ran across Samuel. Uh, he did not bring up to his uncle, though, about this kingship and about what had happened with Samuel, which I find interesting because it gives us a glimpse of him not really wanting to step into this leadership role. And that in chapter 10, as we continue further, Samuel brought the, brought the people together and uh, was uh, giving them the history of God bringing them out of Egypt. And now they wanted a leader. They wanted a king. And so he brought the tribes out and through the selection called on Saul. But where was Saul? He was not there. He was hiding behind the supplies and they brought him out. And again, another picture of, of his leadership skills at this time, him really not sure about being in this role. Uh, but the people uh, replied, long live the king. And Saul was in this role. And uh, we were we were last uh, uh, well prior to prior to the the ending of this chapter chapter, Samuel gives the people and the king a, uh, a basically the rules of, of following governance for the king and for the people, which was pretty key for that everybody would know the role. And then we we conclude chapter ten with uh, Saul going back to his home with some of his valiant friends. And you had some people questioning, uh, how can this fellow, how can this man Saul, who we know who uh, his past, how can he save us? And it just reminds me so much. It's, it's really a piercing uh, story of my heart right now when we had all the news of this, uh, the Supreme Court and the decisions that were handed down on Monday, uh, the frustrations that occur, everything going on in our society and looking for leadership to step up. But really, I need to be seeking God and need to be focused on God and so, not so much about uh, everything else going on. And that's where uh, the Israelites were at this time. They were seeking a man to lead them and they were not seeking God. Y'all have a blessed day and I look forward to visiting with you soon. Take care. God bless.